Well, you don't know, he was involved in several things. In 2013, he founded uh, what they called community police, which were more like cell defense groups. And then they moved into Iguala because of the 43 students, 17 belonged to their communities. So when the 43 students disappeared, they went to the town and start searching around. And then he discovered that at least 300 families were looking for the loved ones around the town of Iguala. I went with them one day for searching for mass graves. Yeah, you met with him, you walked yes, with him. Yes, what was he yes, like? yes. Uh, well, actually, before we met him, we, were, we had a, our appointment at the church, and you could see beforehand that he was like a natural leader. He was like doing everything from signing papers, attending people, hugging people. And then uh, one feature that strikes me was he had a great sense of humor, even in those circumstances. Uh, those grim circumstances because there were at least 50 people, mostly of them women, looking for the low ones and he kept like grounded in his sense of humour, his sense of humour in that circumstances. He told you something in, in the interview when he said the hills around Iguala were like a cemetery. A big cemetery. A, an unbelievable statement for him. To it make. is. It, it was and, and, and it is like that because for two years Iguala was run by, by a cartel. And, and what we discovered, the 43 student, uh, students, missing students, were just like the type of the asthma. There were at least 300, that, that day were 50 people looking for the low ones. So at least 50 missing people there. And they discovered up then to now 120 bodies. And there could be much more just surrounding Iguala. So we may never know who killed him, but there are these 14 others also killed across the state just over the weekend. What is being done to try and uh, combat this kind of violence? Well, I mean, the, the, the thing is in these circumstances, it's not just only force. You have to do much more. You have to do education. You have to do investment. And the thing is, uh, Acapulco, especially Acapulco, which is like the main city, it's not the capital, but it's the main city of, of Guerrero. Uh, is being disputed by several drug cartels, mini drug cartels. That was what is happening right now in Mexico. The big cartels are like disintegrating and they're, they're appearing these mini, mini cell cartels and they're struggling for everyday business, like selling drugs on the streets. So what, that's what is happening in Acapulco right now. by British scientists. They hope it'll be a key weapon in the fight against poaching. You need to catch the poacher red-handed, and that's what we're setting out to do, and that's what we can do. Dr. Paul O'Donoghue has worked in rhino conservation